What is up, my adventure crew? Nick Morris here. Welcome to another episode of Real Adventures Hawaii. If it's your first time here, welcome aboard. If you're coming back, welcome back aboard. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to actually tie a knot with 300 pound leader. I know, uh, you know, if you're into a jam where you don't have crimps, there's a simple knot you can tie, and the knot is actually stronger than the line itself. This knot can actually be used for more than just 300 pound tests. You can actually use it for just regular line in general, but for 300 pound test or bigger line, this is a handy knot to know. It's called a double San Diego knot. So let's get to it. Let me show you how to tie that knot. I'm just gonna use this loop here kind of as a demonstrational purposes to make it like it feels a fishing eye. But what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna pull the, the line through the loop, through the eye of the hook, pull the line up and make a loop at the very top like I did. Hold that loop and you know, wrap around the fingers the easiest way. And with this line, you're gonna wanna wrap it around both those pieces of line about five times. If this was braid, I would say do it at least 10 times minimum because braid has a tendency to slip a lot more. So we're gonna wrap around the line five times, four and five. After our fifth time, we'll put it through the hole on the bottom, the loop on the bottom, and we'll take that tag end and we'll go back through that loop on the top that we held. This is the important part. Uh, and with that, with that loop through, we're gonna pull the tag end slowly, pull both pieces of the line, to kind of cinch on that knot, pull the tag end, and then what you want is you want to lubricate the line either by wetting it, licking it, or just getting it wet so it doesn't burn your line when you slide it down. Uh, after you pull the tag in and the, the main line end tight, you want to just slinch it down slowly and then uh, pull it all the way to the end and then just make sure you give both of them a good tug, especially at tag end. Make sure knot's good on there and firm. And that's pretty much it. It's a super simple knot to tie and an extremely strong knot. Everything I've read on it has said that the line will actually break before the knot breaks so this is definitely a good knot to put in your arsenal of knots to know and i hope you guys like this knot everybody thanks for watching i hope you guys like today's episode uh it was a fast one but i think it's a super handy knot that everybody should learn how to tie especially if they're fishing big game with big leader on the water as always everyone tight line stay fishing and i'll see you on the water hello and thursday i'll have a, a vlog coming up for you guys kind of like before the fishing trip let me know what you guys think about that everybody see you guys thursday